Ford Lightning fans can be oddly toxic, at least in the comments of my videos, but sometimes they raise some really great questions, especially as it pertains to competition with the Cybertruck. With that in mind, let's talk about it. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. A quick thank you to newest Patreons, Scarfoot, Rogelio, and Lawrence. Thank you guys for your support, and for everybody else, you can just subscribe or smack the thummy thing or leave a comment, maybe even a question. Uh, you know, uh, let's get started. Is this guy serious? Does he understand what trucks are used for? No disrespect, but I'm getting a Ford. Hey man, get a Ford. Get a Ford. Uh, you'll probably like it. It'll probably do well for you. Um, Ford makes generally pretty good products. Um, but I am serious. And I do know what trucks are used for. 99% of the time, they're used for driving around the suburbs looking badass. So, you know, that's why the Ram is still around. No offense to my Doge fans. Dodge fans. I love my Doge fans. Uh, but yeah, um, that other 1% of the time, you need torque, you need horsepower, you need towing capability. In the Cyber Trucks, what's that? Ridiculous clickbait, no substance. You, sir, have exposed yourself as a Tesla fanboy. Ford is one of the most profitable car companies domestically, despite competing with subsidized foreign competition. F-150 is one of the more profitable product lines in the global industry. Oh, and thanks for letting us know that batteries don't grow on trees. Brilliant. So, uh, A, don't be so you all the time. Um, I am a fan. I made a video about how I don't believe fanboys exist and I got blasted for it. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe fanboys do exist or maybe the jerks are just so out of control it doesn't matter. So Ford is one of the more profitable car companies. No, it isn't. No, no, it is not. Uh, normal industry margin for cars is about eight to 10 percent. If you can get up to about 14 percent, you're doing great. Tesla is in the 20 to 30 percent range consistently, and it's only climbing. So Ford is not one of the most, I mean, maybe it's one of the most, but uh, it's far and away behind Tesla. Despite competing with subsidized foreign competition, no, it isn't. No, sir. No, it is not. Because, you know, um, got to tell you this, uh, when foreign companies subsidize their cars, it falls under a law called dumping. Dumping is when a company uh, pours money into another country um, to offset the domestic production and destroy it. That had to be outlawed a kajillion years ago because it's an easy way for one country to destroy another. That's not a thing. Imported cars carry massive import taxes. So, not a thing. Ford F-150 is one of the more profitable product lines in the global industry. Well, it's one of the more profitable product lines to Ford. It's their only profitable product line. If Ford loses the F-150, Ford is finished. I'm not trying to be clever or mean. That's the reality. If the F-150 dies, Ford dies. And thanks for letting us know that batteries don't grow on trees. Brilliant! You can't just go online and order 10 kajillion batteries. It requires factories, which Ford is just now building in partnership with SK Innovations. And it requires mining upstream from there, which is less certain. Batteries don't grow on trees. Cool, bro. Where's the Cybertruck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's actually a fair criticism. 
Uh, it's supposed to come out in 2022, as of a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the configurator no longer says 2022, so... <clears throat> um, it ain't here yet. I'll accept that. It ain't here yet. How can you even make this video? Cybertruck is not real. Nowhere to be seen after they announced a redesign. Well, um, there have been leaked videos, uh, and, uh, pictures at least, of it um, in testing out in the desert. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's real yet. Uh, what about the Hummer? The Hummer's real, right? I mean, it entered production last year. It uh, went into... I mean, they, they, they did customer deliveries in 2021, right? How many did they sell, exactly? Oh, I remember. They sold one. So while the Cybertruck isn't real yet, and it's still a ways off, I'll grant you that, it's only less real than the Hummer, as of recording this, by one. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's coming. It's coming. This video isn't even close to accurate on range of the F-150 Lightning. A little research would tell you the 300 miles was based on towing a heavy load. I'm gonna stop you there. No, it wasn't. That was a claim made after the fact by a PR rep. Uh, if that was true, it would have been mentioned at the unveiling. It isn't true, and the physics do not support it. The battery would have to be the size of three gosh darn porta potties for it to make sense. It would have to weigh more than a Pinto to get you 300 miles while towing. The Rivian weighs 8,000 pounds and it can only tow 100 miles at a shot while towing a Ford GT. So, <laughs> I'd like to say that you fell for some clever marketing. But the truth is, one guy told one lie, and it spread. Without that load, it would get closer to 450 miles. No, it wouldn't. That would have been mentioned at the unveil. If anything, you missed the one argument you could have made, and that's charging speeds. While I've never owned a Ford truck, this truck has a lot of use for people in construction, and what man doesn't like working on or around the house? Okay, so the answer to that is like, um... Like, um, like half of them. Like a lot of them. The Tesla truck is just like a Hummer. Looks cool, but how can I use it? Or a more, more important question, how will I be restricted? Can you put a washing machine you just bought in it? So, these are good questions. These are good questions. <sighs> Construction workers can use it. Absolutely. I addressed this on a video maybe two, three weeks ago. Somebody said, do you really think contractors will buy it? And I said, contractors come in every variety. For some, it won't work. For some, it will. Most will be in the middle. They'll either decide if it works or not. But if it's a little bit inconvenient, but a lot cheaper, you'll buy it. And if it's a little bit less convenient and more expensive, fudge it, right? Fudge it all the way to the Wonka factory. Looks cool, but how can I use it? Will it be restricted? You know, these will be out in a year-ish. And when they are, hopefully you'll get a chance to meet someone who has one. If you're a contractor, somebody will buy it before you. I mean, unless you're an early, early adopter. Somebody will buy it before you. And you can just walk up to them and ask them how it works, how they like it. Does it do the job? So that's kind of uh, it. There are enough pre-orders to keep it going for years. You can come in later, or never. Maybe it's not for you. That's a choice everyone gets to make. Bias take, haha. -ha. So, uh, English major here, a uh, pet peeve of mine, bias -a duh I don't like to be jerks just randomly. 
but biased. Biased. You can bias a take, haha, or you can have a biased take, haha. <laughs> if you're gonna be, if you're gonna troll, I don't know, basic grammar, man. Well, that's enough for this week, but if you have questions you want answered or concerns you need addressed, leave them in the comments below, and, you know, we'll consider adding another segment to address them later. Check out the playlist linked with all the F-150 Lightning vs. Cybertruck videos in the meantime. There are still a few more of these shot that will be published in the coming weeks, but leave me all oh, your wisdom and brilliance and blinding considerable amazingness. You know, all that good stuff in the comments below. And as always, my friends, thank you to my amazing gracious Patreons who get early access, exclusive content, and help a keep the channel running. For as little as a buck a month, I literally cannot do it without you guys. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? If you reserved any of the upcoming electric trucks, what car do you own now? And what do you drive now? And what do you want from a car? Let us know. And all I ask in the meantime is that you stay tuned, stay juicy, and please remember that I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the electrified side of the campground. <laughs>